Greetings, Noel Vera, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we have Friendship Ended with Spiritus, and uh, Haley Strategic D3 CRM is now my new best friend. I don't mean it. No, I'm joking, so. Haley Strategic D3 CRM, the uh, Disruptive Environments, spelled with that earlier three I mentioned. Yeah, Lead Speak. Uh, it was a chest rig micro? It is a chest rig, kind of, placard setup that's got some uh, cool things that differentiate it from the Spirit is in a lot of unique ways. It is a bit bulkier from the way I got mine set up, so it gives you a bit more of a tactical gut. However, instead of just extra fat to keep you warm in the winter, this one actually fills up with useful tools and little things you might need and little clamshell openings. So let's get started. So first off, for legal reasons, we've got three airsoft magazines up here, and these all clip into these nice little D3, or was it, MP2s? I think they're called the MP2 inserts, and you can swap those out with the uh, SMG version, because you got to have an SMG version, because people love their little subguns. But yeah, those just fit in there. There's these little... If you've never seen them before, they're kind of like STX with the Crydex, but not really Crydex. They're the uh, more of a plastic thing. They don't take a break in period, because they get all that extra retention from the elastic and the sizing of the thing, and there's little cutouts, so they kind of like crunch into the mag, but not really. It's hard to explain, but you do get this nice little click when you put magazines back in there, and the magazines won't fall out all over the floor when you're inverted, which you probably shouldn't be inverted, but anything can happen, so not losing your magazines, considering there's no flap or extra cover. I'm sure, given the fact that this is all just a uh, Velcro on the inside here, you could create your own flaps if you don't need to have the uh, super fast high speed pouches and you wanted better retention, but entirely optional, you don't need to. The uh, straps up here are a bit longer, so you can actually uh, get it a bit lower up on the uh, chest rig and stuff. And this is the nicer design. They do have the same uh, clip attachments that um, Spiritus has, but these ones are a little bit uh, beefier with material. I suppose if it really wasn't concerned, you could starch them so they don't go anywhere. Oh, you get a little Haley Dragonfly here. You may not know this, but uh, Dragonflies did not exist prior to Travis Haley starting up uh, Haley Strategic Solutions. And most importantly, made in the U. Ah, uh, is no, there's no more beautiful sentence in the world. Made in the U. <laughs> United States. I think, I think this is the same tag. So this one actually came with a multi-mission pouch that we'll be talking about. Oh yeah, it is made in the USA. So it's not just the made in the U, it is the USA. Whew, worried me for a second. Anyway, made in the U, SA. Little tag on here, this one's not, it's not the most important part, it's not zone all the way, but you know. So I do like it. The inserts are probably the biggest selling point because this gives you more of a fast mag instead of just the elastic so you can do your little indexing ordeal with relative ease and not have to worry about the magazine's getting caught on Velcro or any of that stuff. Work, ways to work around with the Spiritus, but you know, just something cool to think about. What's really cool is the way these um, side pouches are mounted on here is they kind of sit, not necessarily a 45 degree angle, but they're not so much in the way that if you have anything attached like a radio pouch, they're going to interfere. They have this cool semi shark skin synthetic rubberized tabs up here. Your shock cord, like you do, and you could put things in here. I've got a little, um, Swiss Army knife setup going on over here because it's just an insanely useful multi-tool. And if I wanted to, I could swap it out with my actual, uh, not the Gerber, but the, um, whatchamacallit, ah, Leatherman. Get a Leatherman in here. Anything you really want that's relatively uh, pistol mag shaped, you can fit in there. So you can carry two pistol mags, just do away with the entire belt, and then, I think, could you fit your handgun? Hold on. We're getting, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So, clamshell opening pouch on the top here. This is the big selling point. It doesn't use the Velcro flip over. You can't turn this into a six mag panel necessarily, but this has a bit better organization that I preferred to the uh, Spiritus. So we've got all of our nerd stuff in here, like you do. We've got our little fold out uh, thing. This is designed for maps, but we're probably just gonna fill it with uh, pictures of anime women, like you do. We got um, a little spoon eating tool with little hex wrenches. You know, the cert eating tool in case we get, you know, hungry for our pokey bait. We got a notepad so we can uh, work on drawing our hentai properly. We got two pouches here. These are therms. I got, let's see, 
CR 123s in one, and then like some AAA batteries for comms and everything. So our optic and our headset is going to stay up in the field. We got a tiny little signal recon light here, which I like. So again, when it's dark out, you can still get that hentai drawing. Penmanship and art is important. It's called hentai. It's art. You can look it up. It's important that you work on it wherever you may go, and especially around the rain. So, you know, if it's raining, you're still good. I don't have my pen in here, so that's going to be a little detrimental to the writing part. But yeah, so we got the Velcro on this outside part of the pouch where we got our map attached. That was taken out of a uh, Tactical Tailor admin pouch for the hell of it. You got all this Velcro up here, so if you want to put little Velcro attachments to throw in some batteries or Skittles or little tubes of Smarties, you can get that all going with relative ease. And there is just a little bit, ever so slight, of a pocket thing going on here. So your loose material, if it does fall free or anything, it can possibly get caught up in here and uh, not just fall out on the ground and make you look like you're incredibly clumsy. So if you are incredibly clumsy, you have a bit of a safety there. Clamshell thing, I mean the zippers, they're going to be a bit loud, but compared to the sound of Velcro ripping everywhere, I don't think it's the worst. I haven't seen the zippers ever get like damaged and in need of repair. I'm sure it's something that could happen, but... You never know. If it does happen, I'll let you guys know, but so far everything has been pretty copacetic. I don't have these mag pouches in here as deep as I should, I'm gonna think about it. But yeah, this rips out relatively easy. You can get a better view of those uh, MP2 inserts down there. They're pretty neat and incredibly useful. Big selling point for me, I'm probably never gonna actually run this as a chest rig, but I do appreciate the insane amount of Velcro, even though we're only gonna really be using the lower portion of it. And uh, yeah, so the big thing with the Spiritus is I couldn't get my P mags to work. The P mags, because they got these little nubules and things going on here, they'd get caught up in the elastic and cause all number of problems. So if we were to take out one of these mags, and we were to take our ever important mag pull right in there, right out of there. You see that? You see that Spiritus in, and Cry Precision? That's what I wanted from that uh, little clamshell back panel, the uh, was it zip-on panel I got, and it didn't work. The magazine just got caught up in there. So having your uh, P mags, this was this is the M3. Yes, yeah, is the M3. I got M2s as well. But having those not get jammed up in your uh, little chest rig is kind of a big deal. Actually, let me put this aside for a second. Let's grab our boy here. We do slow, here's the Spiritus for comparison purposes. Again, we still got the frayed stuff. We got the buckle. I got the buckles on there. But you put one of these in there. It's a pain. One, because of the elastic. I swear I'm not doing this for dramatic effect. I'm literally trying to get that in there. So you put your P-Mag in there. Eventually, it sits kind of awkward, but when you need to pull it out, it does get pretty stuck. So, Spiritus, come on. I mean... I don't want to. I don't want to hate on Spiritus, but they're not necessarily making it difficult not to. So, the other big thing that I really want to talk about is when you get these in their chest rig configurations. I pointed this out. The Spiritus gives you this really uh, cheap kind of garbage material. Look at that. It's got all these little like glue nubules and stuff going on there. If you're wearing just like a normal shirt or whatever, that's not going to be big comfy. However. Comma, pause for effect. By comparison, the Haley Strategic comes with this. It's not the... See, there's a guy who's making those super mesh covers that are really neat. But this is decent decent fabric. This is going to help with a bit of the heat ventilation. It's well constructed. It's actually got more than one layer to it. It's two layers here. And it's although it's not as nice or Gucci as the mesh one, the fact that they go, hey, if you are going to use this as a chest rig, here's a little something that's not going to give you a... It's going to give you belly rubs instead of straight up claws. It's, it's a nice thing. To me, this, this actually is one of those small gestures that actually means quite a lot. Because comfort is always at a premium. And even though it's not mesh, they, there's that guy making the extra mesh ones. This is, I mean, this is the standard. It's a lot nicer of a standard than what your game of spirit is. And I do say that with all sincerity. Most importantly, you got the little cross mandolier stitching, so it looks like the friendly nomenclature for infantry. And you might be going like, well, it's a knife, it's not blue. Well, it's rectangle, which is the 
Uh, like it recognized NATO sign for this being a friendly unit. Now, if it was a diamond, we'd have problems, but it's it's cool. So you got two things going on there. If I took a sharpie and I drew a circle on here, we can jump on our skateboard and call it mechanized infantry. So yeah, this just flips right on there. It's, it's up against your body. It looks kind of neat. And if you don't have uh, garments to go swimming in, you can just put it over your uh, chikubi and help keep them safe. So cool things to know. So before we get to go too much farther, I do want to talk about the uh, multi-mission hangar here. By comparison, this is this is not as cash money as the uh, D3CRM. The Velcro is still nice, but you got this really weird option for the zipper because you're gonna have stuff over the top of this that's gonna get in the way, and you've also made the cardinal sin of having that little zipper cover. You might be asking, well, why? Because the zipper is always, 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 always will catch on this material and get stuck. I've had it happen several times, just dicking around with this. I could probably make it happen again here entirely by accident. So, yeah, if you want to get a multi-mission hanger, I do actually think, ironically, this works better with the Spiritus, because the Spiritus is a lot more of a lower profile design, so you can actually get access to the zipper if you're not carrying all that much. But ultimately, it's just not that great. It does have Velcro everywhere. It's got this big old uh, elastic tab. I do like the chunky elastic. Elastic is pretty cool, but everything else about this is just not done nearly as well. So there's your quick mini review on the uh, multi-mission hanger. So, we've talked about this more or less ad nauseum. There's only so many things you talk about. Unfortunately, I do not have the uh, SMG inserts at the moment, but I will probably get them here at some point in the near future just because... You never know when you're going to end up with an SMG. SMGs are still well loved, despite the fact that you have very small M4s and 556 platforms coming out that have very low recoil and are slowly to a degree phasing out submachine guns, but the ability to get ammunition for half the price and have subsonic munitions right off the bat is pretty neato burrito. So without further ado, let's throw on a plate carrier and take a look at how this fits. So we are going to be going back to our tried and true, ever so trusted cry precision spc because i love it so it's got these supports that help me with my immense old man back pain i do like i do think the jpc is cool but i tell you that back pain you get over 30. You get over i actually someone complain they're like good sir night what do you mean you're 30 and you have all this back pain what did you do enlist i'm watching you guy i know you're out there so, we throw throwing our plate carrier here, it's nice and comfy, we got a structural cover bun for our structured lifestyle, I threw in a little Cowboy Bebop patch here, because, like I said, with those slightly larger, or longer tabs, we can actually fit it a bit lower, which actually means we can put a little patch here that'll be entirely irrelevant to anything and everything we're doing, but it fits, so let's do it, at least for now, you can always take it off later. So these clip in here like they did previously. And being a bit longer, it does give you a bit more uh, space to work with when it's not velcroed in. Then we're just going to slap that on down. Bam. We got a bit more room from the magazines than we were having previously from our PTT. So that's kind of cool. He still has got the patch back there, but now it's covered by a magazine. And you don't know about it unless I do that. Of course, we got our fast mag down here. This is going to be our go-to magazine for anything and everything that comes up. But in the event, we don't need just throw the mag and speed reload we gotta go tactical and you get the little tink 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 badoosh and everything's gucci so all that in mind let me grab our pew pew ignore the skeletons in the closet they're uh having difficulty reanimating so like i said this thing does have the fatter body going on so you do get a bit more space between your blaster and body not a lot, just a wee bit, but it's still there. It does give you a nice little buffer going on. you got our dangler down here, as you do. You got nicely spaced, not a whole lot of extra space there. We got, um, but yeah, as I was mentioning, this does hang out a bit to the side, so even though we got our radio and cover one stuff going on, we still got access to that without interfering with anything. This could get chunkier if we fit more stuff in there. I think we could get a few mags in there if we really want to, and for the most part, you got your weapon going. You can go from low ready to do your thing. There we go, let's get that. Yeah, there we go, that feels pretty good. 
And of course, with the way we got our weapon set up, you can get high ready on relatively easy. And you can be looking around, scanning, making sure everything's Gucci, and then low ready if you gotta do use what works. Ultimately, I'm not here for any never ending debate on uh, how you should have your rifles set. Yeah, we got up here, we go here, grab one of these, slot that back in, bam, ring index. It's just that easy. And we're not throwing away good ammo after bad. So yeah, pretty neat. Although if you do need to get access into that pouch and you're gonna wanna move this off to the side a bit like you do. Da 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 da. Pop this open, get your little signal mirror. Make sure your uh, your mascara is not running or whatever you guys do. Make sure you don't need to reapply camo paint. This is going to give you a little bit of a, a half blood choke going on here, so you know. Hey, back to it. You can out here and draw your handgun. It's all good, can it? Yeah, your handgun would probably fit in there if you took everything else out. So you could get rid of the belt altogether and have a good time. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff you can do with the setup. And if you run it in the chest rig recon style, that's also fairly simple. We'll get rid of all the extra bulky body armor, get a bit of breathability, and uh, just don't get ventilated and you'll be fine. So, that is all I really have for you guys today. I don't know if you have any questions. As I mentioned, there's that bit of a gap in the Velcro up there, but that's mostly almost entirely my fault. And you can always get a little push and make sure you get that full Velcro seal by beating it up a little bit. So, cool piece of gear. That's a logo, and you can slap on there if you got anything neat you want to put on there. Uh, Velcro. I do need to put these mags in a bit deeper. I think this is the left one. Yeah, because the right one's properly in there. This left one's a little bit free. I can fix it later. But yeah, just some uh, cool things. So if you had any questions about this, just let me know. I do know, much like the Spiritus, TMC and several other Chinese companies are throwing a bunch of knockoffs out there. And given the whole political situation, they are very, very expensive. So... Key takeaway is the knockoffs do not effectively employ MP2 magazines from everything I heard. And you're basically working with this cheap plastic that's going to crack and break and do stuff you don't want it to when uh, things go very, very bad. If things go very, very um, When, if. Your optimism may dictate how that all goes, but yeah, so we got some cool stuff. I got I to put something in that pocket. Not necessarily. These also, when they're not in use, these fold relatively flat, so they're not, like, crazy in the way of anything you're trying to do. Smart decisions, IMO. So, gotta take it off. It makes you a little bit bulky, a bit more difficult going prone stuff, but... Bam! Pops right off if you ever need to remove it for anything, so... That's all I got for you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to insert them down in the comments below, and if I can get away from college long enough, I will get back to you. So... That's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If nothing else, this was an educational video on the on helping you make a decision. If you're somewhere torn between Spiritus and the Haley Strategic D3 CRM, uh, ignore the negligent discharge from like four years ago. He does seem uh, Travis Haley does seem like a really cool guy. Haven't met him. Not here to simp for him, but from what I've seen, he does seem pretty chill. And I wouldn't be opposed to meeting him one day. So. But if, if he happens to be tuned in, uh, great work on this. I very much like it, and it very, very much replaced the Spiritus for me. So if you're choosing between Spiritus and Haley Strategic, uh, Haley Strategic has the cooler Instagram, and I once rode a skateboard and uh, shot an airsoft gun into several targets on a skateboard. And it's one of those moments that kind of st stuck with me mentally, and I'll probably... It'll probably flash before my eyes before I die at some point. So, one of those kind of moments. So, pretty neat burrito. Cheers, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.